So I thought I would start this off um, with a kind of patriotic vein and do something that was a, a project about being, I think, the essence of being uh, Canadian. And as a designer, I thought we could perhaps design a system that celebrated our Canadianness. And so it was necessary to sort of find a theme and kind of go into a kind of DNA and find something that was profoundly about our, about our character. And Terry Fox and his uh, run across the country, uh, I think, is something that galvanized us as a nation. And it was this sort of idea of linking uh, coast to coast, and I think it's something that's de very uh, truly in our hearts as Canadians, the whole idea of Terry Fox. I think if you go back into a scenario where um, Pierre Burton wrote it with The Last Spike, was also part of our DNA, this idea of linking the country with a, um, uh, a railway, and this very famous photograph of The Last Spike, of joining east to west, I think is part of our sort of cultural DNA uh, of linking the nation. So, specifically... My idea has its germination in, this, in, in a trip back from Montreal, coming back here to the center of the universe. And there was a sign in Montreal that said it's 524 kilometers to Toronto. And that's not that unusual a thing, except when you think there's not that many signs that give these kind of monster distances. Unless, of course, you land at Pearson Airport and you don't want to go anywhere else. This is a sign outside Pearson Airport, except Algonquin Park. You can't go to Barrie, you can't go to Windsor or London or Toronto. You just go 250 kilometers directly to Algonquin Park uh, from Pearson Airport. I think the, the, the essence of, of why that's sort of significant is that when you look at a map, there's only actually one major road, the Trans-Canada Highway. There are very few roads in Canada. And uh, at this, the red lines actually show there's two of them, or sometimes three, but the 7,821 kilometer distance from, from coast to coast, which inspires us all to do family road trips. And here indeed is a fam my family road trip sometime, somewhere in the Maritimes in the 1970s, uh, with me with a helmet of hair in the back and my mom and my uh, elder brother doing the family road trip out into the Maritimes of, uh, and doing the cross-country Canadian uh, tour. And I think that's something that a lot of us can re relate to, this idea of driving and seeing this enormous uh, uh, country and the sites and the, the iconographic, uh, iconog iconographic cities and landscapes and landmarks and and uh, the things that make this country so beautiful and, and quite diverse and different. And then I'm linking that back to another concept, which is the idea of signs and, and the signals and graphics that you see in a city. So right now, my studio is doing a sort of compilation or um, kind of a um, uh, compendium of various signs in the city. So this is a little bit of a sidetrack from the main idea. But signs are important. And I think you could see if you would recognize some of these kinds of signs uh, from various uh, countries and places, Cape Cod or London Underground or the... Paris Metropolitan uh, Subway System or the Hollywood signs. The signs are very much uh, indicators and signals, textures of a place that I think we can relate uh, very profoundly to. Uh, here, getting back to the idea of road signs, you can see that um, uh, our Prime Minister, Stephen Harper, realized that the, 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 the 401 route from Trenton to downtown Toronto became uh, a, a way to sort of signal our patriotism and and give respect to the fallen soldiers in Afghanistan, and that, that's a sign system that I thought was the basis for something like this, that you could create these signs that are celebrating the enormous distances from Toronto to Ottawa, Montreal, Montreal Calgary, Vancouver, and Whitehorse, so that you could really do a whole series of signs across the city, or across the country, from city to city. But why just distances? Why not... Uh, Clothing. So there is Lake Trouser, Quebec. You could go from Lake Trouser, Quebec to Tuxedo or Medicine Hat or Miniskirt or Cardigan or Mount Slipper. And we could celebrate and link all of these sort of themed uh, towns and places uh, as a kind of, uh, of getting into our DNA. Well, well, you could go on a kind of a food theme and do a kind of nut mountain to chocolate lake or charred Alberta chili tower, pickle lake or meat cove or... On the pest side, you could go for Tick Island or Maggoty Cove or Roachville, New Brunswick, or Locust Hill, Ontario. So there's a whole series. Uh, let's say uh, we could, if you're bored in the car, of course, you could do uh, games like uh, Scrabble or Clue or Parcheesi or Poker Lake or Bridge. 
then if you're a little bit down in the dumps, you could do a kind of desolate creek to Despair Pass or Suicide Hill, Manitoba. Oh, God. Or if you're, you're hungry, you could go from Kitchener, Ontario to Ajax, Lac Whisk or The Juicer or Teaspoon Creek, British Columbia, from Ketchik Lake, Ontario. Let's go condiments. How specific is that? Condiments. Applesauce, mayo, Tabasco Lake, Garnish, Newfoundland, or Ile de Beur in Ile au Beur, Quebec. Uh, well, it's a free country. <laughs> live like you want to live. So you could go from Pride Lake, you could go right directly to Elton, Manitoba, or Drag River. I mean, I don't think there's any places in Alberta but you can, go, you can go any, you know. And then, well, of course, that ultimately leads to this slide. And when we made this slide, people were going, oh, could you make that longer? So I'm thinking, what's going on in Newfoundland? Oh, my Lord. What is... I love these people in Newfoundland. Good Lord. Oh, what the... Touch and tickle. Oh, okay. But that's not really Canadian. What Canadian we could go... From Keg River, Alberta, to Molson, Drunken Dick. Maybe that should be on the last slide. Bud, Stout, or Chuggin Lake. Or we could do a hockey thing and go from Cherryville to Puck Rock, Lemieux Islands, Maple Leaf, Alberta, Maple Leaf, Alberta. Uh, or let's really get Canadian here. Let's, this is the true kind of core DNA sign of what would link our country is from Horton, Ontario, to Honey Harbor, Lac Beignet, Donut Hill, Turnover Island, or Cinnamon Hills. I think this is what would really kind of link us as a nation with a series of road signs. Thanks so much.